Hi, this is Tina Gangbot, and welcome back to Clock Tower. I think I've decided at this point, going back all the way back to the car is just too much effort. Let's just go in here and see if we can uh, do something in this room. Alright, so... What can I do? Let's see. Okay, I can click on that. Click on that. No. Is that a dead crow? This is a crow corpse. The neck's completely severed. Alright, nothing to say about the creepy painting. Strange symbols are written here. Time will cause... That... Okay, same thing that was said. What... What does that mean? Oh, wait, is there... Can I click on this little... I can. This is an iron disc, a cross has been carved into it. Hmm. A square hole is visible. The cradle under the star. What is the cradle under the star? What does that mean? There's something underneath here. Alright. Now, I remember there was something in the mural that looked like this pot. And it was like fire or something coming out of it. Okay, so what? It's just a vase. That's all we care. We don't care about what it's for. I feel like there's some significance to that. Anyways, um, we've got the staff. Do we want to try using... which one do we want to put it in? Just could say the same thing, so all right. Okay, I don't put the staff in there, obviously. I wonder. Um do I need to be dressed properly to do this? No, I still don't know how to put that on. Alright, let's try putting the staff into the base. Is that going to do anything? Oh! Whoop! Aha! Uh -huh. Staff does go in the base. 
And I opened a secret door. What's inside? Okay. I can descend with this ladder here. Is it just the wind? Oh! Well, there's somebody wearing a black robe. Okay. So that's totally a guard dog. I think I need a black robe on to get past the dog. How do I put it on, though? No! How do I put this robe on? I can't put it on. Do I need to, like, trigger some kind of event before I put it on? Alright, here we go. Let's just... Some things there. Okay. So now that I've triggered the dog, can I use this rope? Can I put it on somehow? No. Don't sit down, I want you to wear the rope. Stop. Stop! Oh my god! Alright. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe... Maybe... Yeah, something's there. I know. There's a dog. What? Well, oh my god. So you can click on yourself, but only at specific moments. Um. Quit barking, say look. No, that's not enough? He's still barking at me. What else do I have? Uh, perfume it smells like Miss Mary. Dogs do smell. Dog knows the smell very well. It smells like uh, it smells like the perfume Mary uses. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I got past him. And my robe and my perfume are gone? That was it? One time use. No, you've already rested. We don't need to rest. What is it? What is it? What? I can't move. Okay. I got past the dog. What do I do now? Right here, what do I do now? I got past the dog, it's just, it's just a dead end. Um, 
all of the way. There's nothing here. Well, what do I do? I can't get past the dog again. My perfume and my robe are gone. Wait a second, wait a second. What's this? Oh, there's a door here. What is in here? Is this another? There's another door. But what's down here? Can I click on those? Those look like switches. Can I click on them? Alright, I can't click on those. Yeah, I guess a rest may be a good idea. We got a table, some box, and there's another box. Knowing my luck with the tables in this game, I'm sure this one's not going to talk to me. Typical. The tables are all the same. There's a can here. Looks like kerosene. Can I pocket the kerosene? Oh, come on. There's a can here. Looks like kerosene. That would be a very useful thing to take with you. But you're not. Alright. Where am I going? Oh, an elevator? An elevator that I can't seem to click on anywhere? Can I just run into it? No. Okay. Oh my... Do I need to use the kerosene to, like, start up a generator or something? Is that what this thing... Still nothing. Yeah, this can here. Looks like kerosene. Why did you do that? Okay. Where are we going? Maybe run. Because I don't know what you're doing. No, you're gonna just... Okay, well I'm glad you knew there was floor down there. What is this? Well, it's something I can click on. Is that the only thing I can click on? Great. And my health bar is gone. Why do I have no health bar? Am I not going to need it here? Oh, there goes the creepy music. I better get ready to run. Cause I don't know what's in here. What? What? Is... What? 
the hell is that? Oh my god, no! What the hell? No, get, go, shit, 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 shit! Go, 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 go! Run! Come on, you can do it! Whatever, do something! I'm pressing the button, just go! Do I just gotta keep, just gotta keep pressing that button this whole time? I mean, my face is flashing, that's normally what it, what it means! Um... Okay. Just, I'm just gonna keep mashing the button and hope that gets me through here. Cause when your face is flashing like that, it means mash that button! MASH IT HARDER! You're not mashing that button hard enough! She'll never get out of here! Damn it, I'm pressing the button as hard as I can! Go! Go girl, go! Go! Oh! Knocked it- Oh! Man, that's what the kerosene was for! What, now the cave is gonna collapse? Are you kidding me? Alright, well, let's get in there. Will the elevator work now? Aha, there's a button now. This is interesting. Alright, so I'm in the basement. I'm going to floor one, floor two, or floor three. Nothing happens. I can't go to floor one. I'm going to floor two. Tell me I can... Did I... I can't click on the elevator again. Did I fuck up by coming to floor two? Yeah, take a rest. Alright. Now we'll rest it. This girl is going to need so much therapy when she gets out of this place. Just went down into a cave and... So, oh no! Miss... Mary! Jennifer! You've been a terrible daughter. My... My son is dead because of you! Wait, you mean that giant mutant baby I set on fire? Oh, oh shit! Fight back! Yeah, that's right. Push her down. Now where do I go? Um... Okay, we're just gonna run! Get this girl! She's the one who killed Dan! Oh. Uh. 
Great, now I've got the old woman chasing me. I could assume... I could assume Bobby must be... The kid with the scissors. Uh... Where do I go? I can't go up... Oh wait, yeah I can! Get on it! Go, go, go! Go up the stairs! Hurry! Up the stairs, up the ladder! She's... I swear I haven't seen a chase scene this slow since Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Up the ladder I go! She's behind me! Oh man! Oh man! How is she kidding? Oh no! What the? What the? Kick her off! Kick her! Kick her off! Yes! Kill the old bitch! Okay, which way do I go? Inside the clock tower. Oh no! What? What's wrong with my face? Alright, let's flick that switch. I guess she knows what she's doing. What? Um, he's gonna kill me! What? No. What is that? He doesn't like the sound? I turn the clock on and then he jumps into some gears and kills himself. Okay. The bells? It's not like the bells? seem to be bothering Jennifer. Where are you going, Jennifer? Okay, I'm standing out here alone. All my friends died. Set a giant mutant baby on fire. Threw an old lady off a ladder. Caused a psychotic young boy to jump to his death. There aren't enough therapists in the world. Produced by Hiroshia. Yeah, okay, I can't even pronounce Japanese names, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna try that. Well, alright, everybody, we beat Clock Tower. I was, you know, I was kind of not sure at the beginning. The game was moving so slow and it didn't seem like there was a lot happening, but I actually really enjoyed that. That was quite a bit of fun. Um, you know what? This is my last video, so I'm, sh I'm sure we've probably hit the runtime, but being as this is my last one, I don't really care. We'll make it a little extra longer because I'm gonna go back to my save. My last save. And see what happens if we go to floor 3 instead of floor 2. I just kind of... that's the only thing I can... Yeah, I just want to see what happens when we do that. I'm just wondering if there's going to be anything special- oh, whoa. Jennifer, Dan and Bobby, oh, this is who designed them. So Dan and Bobby, huh? Dan was the giant mutant baby and Bobby was the kid with the scissors. Were they both her son? Did she have two mutant sons?
We're gonna... I'm gonna speed through the uh, rest of the credits here just so I can see if there's anything at the end and then I'll load my, uh, my save and we'll see what happens if I go floor 3. Is anything going to happen? Am I just going to sit here? No, there we go. Fade to black. Okay, welcome back. We're going back in the elevator. And we're going to see what happens when we go to floor 3 instead of floor 2. So, we're clicking on floor 3. We're going up. Alright, passing floor 1. Passing floor 2. Okay. What? What was that? If Bobby is a... What, wait, what was all that? Oh! Yes, climb, because here comes Bobby. Alright, go, go, go. Can you run? Do you know what you're after? She knows what she's doing. She's gonna flick those switches. Oh, but that means Miss Mary's still alive, because I didn't throw her off the ladder in this ending. And you're gonna sit down? Did she sit down before? Maybe she did. We started up the clock, so Bobby's gonna fall off and die. Okay, now what? Do I sit here? Can I stand up? Okay, she's standing up on her own. My adopted daughter! You! I will kill you! Oh no, 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 not if I jam this button, you won't. Ooh! And I electrocuted Miss Mary. Well, I'm just gonna walk away like nothing happened. After shit I've seen, that was nothing. What's going on? Why are we just sitting here on this frame? Okay. Well, that was took its sweet time. And it looks like we're back to where we were before, okay. So the only difference between floor 2 and floor 3 was either I threw Miss Mary off a ladder or I electrocute her. But wait, there's still one more ending we can look at. I went all the way back, and now that I've beaten the game I don't feel bad about looking it up. And I found out that there is a way to, in fact, use this car. 
So this is back at the very beginning of the game. I just escaped from Bobby for the first time. There we go, I just got the car key. Now. I can, in fact, use the car key to get away. Without having to play any of the game. I can get out of here right away. Yes, I can get out of here with this car, but the others, I should really go back for the others, I need to save them, but I did just watch Ian fall through a stained glass window on second floor, let's get out of here. What should I do? Laura and Lot are still alive. And at this point, I don't realize that Miss Mary's evil, so she's still alive, too. Mmm, fuck them. I'm out of here. There we go. Yeah, that's right. If you don't even bother opening the garage door, just crash right through it. And I guess that's it. I just drive away. Alright, well just like the other one, I'm going to speed through the credits here and we'll see if there's anything at the end or not. something at the end. Oh man, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Well, we end on a classic horror cliche. All right. Well, that was Club Tower. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, this has been Tina Gamebot. Thank you for watching. And next time, we'll try something different. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet, but keep your eyes open because I'll have something coming soon. Thank you.